U.S. service members sacrifice for the country. They operate in what Father Jim Hinkle, a Catholic chaplain in the Navy, calls a high-intensity, high-energy environment. If there's one person that I could identify that needs the sacraments, uh, it's going to be a person who's operating those conditions. Father Hinkle says it's a privilege to serve as a military chaplain. His parents are proud, but more importantly... We're just happy because we know he's doing what God called him to do. I mean, he's, he's, you can just tell, he's just, he's just very, very happy. Throughout his own career, Father Hinkle's dad, retired Navy Admiral Jim Hinkle, saw the need for military chaplains. If, if they have this opportunity to, to spread the gospel, if you will, and the sacraments, that's what they're there for. But the numbers are bleak. According to the Archdiocese for the Military Services, there are only 191 priests serving as active duty chaplains in the U.S. military. And there are 350,000 Catholics on active duty around the world. That means not including families, for every 1,833 Catholic service members, there's just one priest. It's a beautiful way of taking care of God's families, the service members. That's the message Father David Kirk, assigned to Arlington National Cemetery, has for Catholic men considering military chaplaincy, including current priests. Father Kirk was ordained in the Diocese of Toledo, Ohio, and later felt a call to serve as an Army chaplain. I thoroughly love what I'm doing. I know this is where God wants me. As Jesus says in the Gospels to his disciples, you have not chosen me, I have chosen you. And he definitely has. I felt the call very strongly. Both Father Kirk and Father Hinkle are in military uniform, displaying their role as officers and priests. In chaplain terms, you call it mastering both sides of the collar. So, so on one side, I have my rank insignia, on the other side, I have my cross. And uh, in professional naval chaplaincy, we're called to master both, to uh, be both an officer and also uh, represent our faith. Military chaplains are on loan from their home dioceses to the Archdiocese for the Military Services, established by Pope St. John Paul II in 1985 to provide the Catholic Church's full range of services to Catholics in the U.S. Armed Forces. Before his ordination to the priesthood, Father Hinkle was a Navy submarine officer. He learned what it was like not having access to the sacraments. The sailors who render when the uh, submarine will go without the sacraments for six months at a time unless they're able to make port visits to uh, go to confession or to uh, go to mass as well. The Archdiocese for the Military Services says the chaplain numbers have been declining for decades as aging chaplains reach retirement faster than they can be replaced. At Arlington, Father Kirk is grateful to continue fulfilling his spiritual military mission. It's the best of both worlds because I can serve God's people in a very unique setting. Mark Irons, EWTN News In Depth.